<laughs> hey guys, we're still out here at the Golden Bear Club. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little teaser test. Yeah. This is the one we've been really waiting to do, which is a comparison of all the, uh, or the, the top Most performing drivers, the ones, yeah. the eagerly anticipated ones. We're talking Ping, Cobra, which we've just done that yep. test. Taylor made. Very, very similar. What we've already done in Sim and obviously Maverick. Maverick. Yeah. So we're going to do a little uh, head to head more of a teaser this isn't the in-depth yeah. one where we're really going to dive into the numbers but we want to just whet the appetite a little bit we've got them all here we got a little bit of light left we're outside right. it's kind of hard to not want to hit all of them at once absolutely so consider got, this a little preview we've got you swinging swinging well and hitting it nicely so it, these are good times to test you know it's side by side yeah one of the things the best players in the world always do is they wait until they're hitting it really well before they're test and that's when they can extract the real details out of the nuances in ball flight and club, the club delivery itself, right? that's it and, yeah. and you know we've we're seeing a little bit of that right now as well, so good time to test while we're here. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Ping first. Start with the ping. It's always, as we said, the gold standard, the one to beat. Yep. One. Straight out the gates with a beauty. Oh, it's Probably tight. a bit better. It's still the king, isn't it? <laughs> My ping. 172, 12.6, 2,200 spin, 309 carry. Ooh. We haven't seen those numbers from you yet this year. This Not is the hidden. first time we've seen that 310 carry number back. Get back. What's up? Three. That's a perfect set. Setting the bar awfully high. Maybe. Beautiful. Oh, what? Fast? Fast. Really? Fast. Big spike in speed. I thought you couldn't have hit those first three with the ping much better. You averaged 172.2 ball speed. That came right out the gate at 174.5. Jeez. Should hit sunset more often. 312 carry, 309 carry. It was a little left. 15 but. yards left. I mean, that looked left because of how good the first yeah, five were. But, but that's still a fairway. That's 15 yards down the, the left side I don't want of the it, fairway. I don't want it back. Um, so, one and a half mile an hour ball speed jump. Launch was similar. Spin was slightly higher on the Cobra by about 170 revs. You were slightly longer with Cobra. I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have thought that after the first set with the, with the ping. Because that is as good as I, I've hit my ping in a while, too. Okay, uh, Sim, Mikey. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Noticeably lower flight than the other two. Flatter? Yeah, yeah, much fl flatter. It so looks, that was, looks like there's no spin on it. Yeah, so that was 1657. Uh, 17 yards down the right side of the fairway, it's very fine. much in the fairway, uh, only at 76. That's a good one. Yeah, it's like really low compared to it, doesn't it? So that one there is as quick as you were with the, the uh, speed zone. That was you up at 174. Oh, wow, okay. Um, but flat. Felt like a really good um, strike there. That was 69 feet. That was a bullet ball, uh, ball flight. 9.4 launch, 1,800 spins. So Jeez. it's a good 400 RPMs less than the Cobra. Huh. Lovely. Good job. One. Okay, and the Mav. Good strike. Yep. Was that straight enough? Very, very, very straight. Love that. Love that flight. Going off of those shots with the, the sim, which you hit well, yeah. but they looked a little bit on the edge of They were very unstable. Low looked like they could have just kind of nosedived at any point. That's the driver for a, the guy that needs a low spin. It really no is, question. isn't it? Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And then that's we talked about it in the review, but the the eight degree version gives someone the extreme. It, it takes away the need to go with like an M5 tour. Yeah. With the smaller head, so you can stay with the 460 mm. higher MOI. You can stay with all the forgiveness, but you now have the the real low spin option. That's probably why they didn't make a tour. Hundred percent. They don't need it. They right? didn't need it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that one felt quite good. Was um, nice I was, the strike was a, as good as I can hit it, right in the middle. 
What did you think of that sound? Nice. It's nice, eh? Yeah, it's quiet. I like it. It's quite quiet out here. Really good as well. You hit that well too. Center. Huh. There's a there's an interesting little uh, occurrence going on Ooh. here. Okay, one more. Yeah. Those are good. Wow. They're all good strikes. Very, very good. All right. Not sure if you could have given us any more than that, to be honest. Maverick and Cobra were on autopilot. Both of those were yes. really, really good, really stable. Th three shots required for, you know, we were looking for three and we only needed three swings to make it. Yep. Um, both are very quick, almost identical, 173.6, 173.7. Okay. The slowest was the ping. <laughs> My driver. That's devastating, isn't it, for the rest of the week? But are we going to hear that you were warmed up more with the other ones? I know, I know. Well, I mean, <laughs> the reality is it's still only a mile and a half. So it's and, and in total yards and results, it, it was it's it was two yards worse off than the Cobra, which was the longest of the of the bunch. Yeah. Um, but that's that's something to see it actually. Yeah. Um, have a, any disparity in ball speed at yeah, all. Definitely. Quite interesting to see you go from Sim to Maverick. Maverick looked like it had about the right balance. It was, it was very much forward flying, but it was it was up in the air enough to look like it was stable. Yep. It was being held with enough spin. I mean, look how tight, you know, we talk about the, the technology behind the new flash face and the spin robustness. Yep. You know, their, their ability to keep spin in a really tight window, really maintain that standard deviation and they've really achieved that. I mean, 21, 91, 22, 38 and 21, 26. Like, I'm surprised by this because in our initial review, I thought we thought a lot of things were good about it, but I wasn't like blown away ball speed wise. Yeah, But it agreed. seems like when we've got, I've tried my best to make these kind of 12 swings that we've used very similar yeah and I think in that setting it's it's kept up nice like it's in fact it's a little bit better than average in the big argument that will consume everyone who does videos like this mm -hmm. are the 2020 drivers better than 2019 videos I'm hearing a lot of chatter about that stuff right now yeah we couldn't really see an equal to ping last year agree we've just seen three that beat it yep. in this test in this right test. here right now so I think that's that in itself is is encouraging now we're not talking massive margins we're not changing you know anyone's life that's the fitting process that does that the fitting process is where the big gains are. that's where they are yeah. that's finding the right shaft for you making sure that club is built proper properly to extract you know the right sort of components head shaft grip built properly that's where you're going to find the gains 100 percent. this is where we're going to find the the sort of the nucleus of improvement will come from these numbers launch spin speed and this is good for you to see and good for your shop to see because now when you reach in the drawer, someone may need what Maverick has, someone Definitely. may need what Cobra has, someone may need what Sim Absolutely. has. And you have now three other drivers yeah. that can keep up with ping and you don't have to go, well, I really need the ball speed, let me go get ping every time. You're kind of, you have a whole selection that's at least all as fast. Couldn't agree. The one thing that just popped into my mind where we might have been unfair is we have a ping G410, a, a Cobra speed zone, uh, the Callaway Maverick. The odd one out is the Sim in that the Sim is designed probably to match up more with the, the Maverick Sub-Zero. That's true. You know, and, and in terms of the way we've set these Maybe these the Maverick up, Mac or the Sim Max might have been a bit closer. I think so. But I don't think the ball speed would have been different. It's it's just the spin. Yeah. I don't, and I, it's not a negative. I think the person looking for that low spin looks at this test and goes, oh, nice. Absolutely. And if you don't want that, just get the Max because it won't spin as low. Absolutely right. There's someone here watching at home who's looking at that going, yeah, that spin doesn't look appealing to me. And there's someone at home going, this Love is that. what I've been waiting for. You know, that flight that really flattens my trajectory. Kind of got that rising, ballooning flight that they don't want. They're trying to kind of flight it. Maybe they play in the wind a little yeah. bit or something like that or get a hair steep on it from time to time. I bring the ball You down. want to utilize that flatter flight. So um, this is an encouraging is awesome. start. So conclusion from this is we're going to test all these drivers again, head to head many more times, different yep. shafts and stuff. But... The reality is there's now a bunch of drivers that keep up to what we agree is the gold standard. Um, so Yeah, it's why we're calling this the, the best year ever for drivers. Yeah. Because last year we had a couple of great drivers. This year it seems like everyone has came seems to so. the party Whoop. with a real top performer. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, so it's, it's exciting stuff. I think it just gives us more options as fitters. It gives you guys more options when you're looking at purchasing. And whatever you do, 
you know, don't, with the, the, how close they all perform, don't go out and buy a driver off the shelf. Please don't. Please yeah, don't, don't do that. Please go in and go through the process, test the shaft, you know, you, at whatever level you do this test, and whether it's with someone like us, whether you go to a PJ Superstore, mm -hmm. whether you go and do whatever you do, spend the time with a professional and, and go and invest time for yourself because that's where you're going to find these gains. And we've not, these aren't off the shelf. Like we've shortcut it a bit. There's hosel settings, there's yep. shaft choices that we know work well for me. Yeah. These aren't just, you know, this isn't a 10 degree draw version. We know what is going to perform well and yeah. that's how these match up. The beauty is we don't, we can shortcut your yeah. sort of settings where we know you're going to perform. We can just plug you straight in and, and off you go. And I mean, looking at these numbers, you're about 11 launch and kind of low 2000s and spinning almost every one apart from the sim, which was just sub 1800. So we, we had you in the right zone with every Absolutely. single driver. So um, yeah, you, you were, you were set up very well. This is great. So uh, we're gonna hit some Mizunos again outdoors on Tuesday. Yeah, be really curious to see how ST200 and, and obviously the G as well, we'll see how that's stacking up. Yep. Um, we Once we get round to the Titleist booth, we we'll, we'll gather some numbers and see how TS is comparing as well. We'll keep all these numbers in the iPad all week, so we'll yeah. kind of know where things have been and um, yeah, lots more to do. Yeah, that'll be good. Great. Excellent, guys. We're excited for the week. We hope you are as well. Uh, stay tuned for lots more videos and we'll see you again soon.